welcome to the future. The future. Um, so it's been a, a few sort of future things yeah. in the news. Do you think, like, um, for the future, we should put some like aluminium foil up at the back and some spangly like lights? Space, Spa- yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Some tang. <laughs> A biro pen that can write upside down. Yeah, that's it. We could pretend we're floating yeah. in space, right? Yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, yeah. So, in, in news, we mentioned Volvo earlier. Volvo yeah. now not going to do diesel engines yeah. anymore. They're going to the hybrid. Future. 20, that's 2024, though, that, yeah. that's, that, when that happens, that generation of di- diesel's going to oh, right. go for another five years wow. or, you know, seven years. Yeah. Um, so They've got some, some magic off. stuff, haven't they? got that crazy pneumatic. To spin the turbos up as well. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I think which I guess it works on the the that's petrols like, and the turbos. Uh, an so old like, truck air starter. Yeah, it just it's... spools the turbo. Yeah. yeah, that's quite cool. Anyway, yeah. So future no diesels from good guy Volvo. Good guy got Volvo. Thank you. Um, so in the news um, this week has been um, a leak that a Tesla workers, that's the factory yeah. workers, in an attempt to keep up with demand have literally just been falling asleep yeah. on the production Passing line. out, yeah. Through it's, exhaustion. This is the ugly truth, you know, like Foxconn workers jumping off roofs because yeah. of, you know, how hard they're pushed making your iPhone and stuff like that. It's not so pretty, and Elon Musk isn't necessarily this kind of wonderful yeah, hero. angelic um, hero. Yeah, yeah, that we, we portray him to be. Yeah. Um, and the, the belief is that the, this is an issue that's stemming from... Um, tech culture merging with cars. Yeah. Because the car industry, the manufacturing industry, has had a few hundred years, basically, yeah. to understand that physical labour has its limits. Yeah, and finesse that Finite. sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. That system. And that if you try to make people work 12 hour shifts, that they're going to mess up, they're going to fall asleep, and, yeah. and everything else. And mm. It seems to be born out of um, the Bay Area culture in San Francisco, which is startup central from yeah. around the world. And it and in those businesses, generally, you are frowned upon if you go home before At midnight <laughs> and turn up, yeah. you know, later than one minute past twelve yeah. in the morning. That's that's how bad it is. You know, people pull multiple day stints in yeah. the office, and I think that you know we've become used to the concept of someone falling asleep for exhaustion in front of a computer screen. Yeah. And it was never right. No, that that's not case. right just because it's yeah, yeah. computers. You yeah. shouldn't program yourself to complete, you know, to, yeah. to, and to, to expire from it. And you shouldn't be filling in spreadsheets and doing paperwork and working around any kind of white collar job yeah. to do that. It was totally wrong that we've allowed that to happen. Just the same as the fatigue from checking your email on a Saturday yeah. morning, worrying about what you're going to do on Monday. It's all wrong. Yeah. To take that into blue collar work is just sad. It's yeah. so sad it's that, cruel. that something as wonderful as Tesla and the Model Three that's you yeah. know so popular could come at the expense yeah. of good honest people, you know, who don't earn a good wage, no. who haven't had the educational benefits of other people that have grown up in culture and society which has made them feel that they they can't be bigger than you know yeah you know putting um, parts into cars yeah or people that just want to take pride yeah, yeah, totally. in the job they do yeah as a lifetime career and yeah not it's hard it's yeah, killing it. them. yeah it's hard to take pride in something exactly yeah. that could be killing you yeah and we've seen this happen in japan you know um japan's a, a bad area for this china's a bad area for yeah. this to, you know suicide rates absolutely terrible young dads yeah taking their own lives because you know they don't just feel that they're letting their family down, but they're, they're culturally wrong. Yeah. Society deems them as lazy. Yeah. yeah. So a real shame. It's really out of whack, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really disappointed, and I hope that they address it. They yeah. Probably, I doubt they will. Um, but we need to get past this, this ugly side. I'm sure they're going to say that it's just, that's it, it's extraneous circumstances due to Model 3 production or whatever, and it's like, well, you know, if you're building the this car company of the future maybe you should invest not just in the buildings and the magical solar panels on top but you should be investing in your workforce and getting yeah getting more people in and accepting that we have to accept it yeah absolutely as well yeah true it's not just a company thing yeah your delivery date of your tesla model 3 is not as important yeah as a person's the lives, health and yeah, yeah. of our factory workers it's yeah. not is you know people died so we could have iphones yeah. when we wanted iphones that is absent there's no there's never no. ever justification that like, never ever you can wait 
five years for your iPhone yeah. and it would still be better than a human being losing their life yeah. because they felt they were a, a slave worker. And ultimately what? The Tesla's going to be like a couple of days late or something I mean, like that. Yeah. Or, you know, I mean... What's the, what's the huge worry on yeah. this? Yeah. So they're pushing them too far. So that's, again, you know, we, we cover the good, we cover the bad yeah. about the future. Another one... We're we going to cover the ugly next. <laughs> it is a little bit ugly. Yeah. Um, and this is ownership. Yeah. Of um, your property. Um, if you own um, pretty much any modern mobile phone, um, you're not allowed to fix it if it yeah. breaks. Yeah. Not allowed to. You're avoiding the agreement mm. of the of what you've bought. I'd like to say product, but you've not bought a product anymore. This is no, quite true. interesting thing. So. Because your phone and your computer and various items like this are predominantly software based, you actually buy a license. Yeah. So you're actually buying a license um, to use that software. And it so happens that that software is provided on hardware. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you've bought the hardware or the right to do anything with that hardware. And it kind of comes back to you know higher purchase and leasing yeah. cars and stuff yeah. like that you know but it's sort of a more extreme thing yeah. now typically we buy a car you're buying the material thing yeah. you're buying a car and yeah. most people would agree they own and the thing. car yeah. and if they want to take a hammer to it yeah. or you know modify it or whatever wrap they do, it or put something on it paid or, yeah. the retail price they can yeah. wrap it they can do what they want yeah. and obviously like we said it's kind of Depending on if you leased it, and oh, there's a bit of oh, there's well, I guess, issues with I guess as long as you financial can, situation. Yeah, yeah, but in theory, but exactly. if you bought outright, oh yeah, if you bought outright, yeah, totally. Um, what's happening now, uh, and it's happening in the agricultural industry, and it's happening with John Deere. Mm. Now, typically, when you buy agricultural equipment, you actually part of your agreement of buying it is that you can't maintain it yourself. Yeah, uh, which is reasonably common. You know, which is crazy, you know, yeah. but that's the case with, you know, if you pay a quarter of a million or a million for a combine harvester, yeah. you're now not allowed to yeah. fix it yourself. Fiddle it with you yourself, yeah. Because so much agricultural machinery is now becoming autonomous, John Deere are now apparently claiming that you're buying software and that technically wow. that's what this stuff is. This is software now. Cause wrapped in a shell AI and everything else yeah. is the product that you are buying that you're buying and it happens it goes to beyond sensors. Tractor. Yeah, it goes beyond the tractor it's yeah the, exactly yeah. you know the, the wheels that are there just to move the AI about and all that and as a result a leap, of that it? apparently allegedly whatever don't take us for gospel yeah. with all this but this is what people are saying is that John Deere are now trying to seek government approval of the fact that if you buy some of their agricultural ma machinery you don't own it wow you do not actually own it they own it and you are have a license you have a software license effectively a software agreement and that is terrifying that's insane this is basically you know you you know like you know we have the capitalism socialism thing and yeah. people and communism people go oh well socialism is just communism and yeah. everything like that at the point where the people that dominate the manufacturing industry yeah. actually own what you buy yeah. from them yeah effectively um it may as well be communism yeah. at that point yeah true <laughs> that is late stage kind of capitalism gone, yeah gone so yeah. full circle yeah which we're yeah. Uh, victim to just the same you don't own your house because you know you bought a mortgage yeah. on it you know yeah. not your house really yeah. you do what they want with, with come back and get it um so the danger is that we could move into an era where we go beyond being on the never never for a car and you buy it and yeah. if it breaks you can't take it to a garage of your choice. Yeah, an independent garage. Just like the same that, yeah. as you can't actually legally take your iPhone to yeah. a hardware store, sorry, a, a mobile phone repair yeah, shop. In yeah. you know, a lot in some parts of the world, you can't do that. You have to take it to the approved yeah. uh, maintenance maintenance department or yeah. whatever or yeah. facility of some kind Blimey. and pay whatever they believe. Yeah, you need to pay to keep it going 
And that also means that if you do break that rule, yeah. they can take it straight back off you. And you have to wonder where the line's drawn with that. And we spoke before about, you know, car manufacturers don't dictate what tyres you put on your car. Yeah. They don't dictate what water you put in your coolant or what oil you put yeah. in your sump. But we could potentially move into an era where yeah. everything you do, you, just, you can't even open the bonnet. Like, yeah. opening the bonnet would record on the yeah. car system and you could then take the car in and be told you've broken the terms of agreement yeah. of the contract you open the bonnet therefore you attempted to service this vehicle yourself yeah. and therefore you know you're going to pay a penalty or just take it back off you or you're going to have to buy a new one or yeah. something like that it's kind of like I don't I'm trying to get my head around this like completely because like you say like if, if if you're not buying the vehicle if you're buying the AI and the, like you say, and all that sort of stuff, but the AI requires the wheels to move itself around, why are you responsible for the wheels? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it does get a bit, I don't know, like. Well, yeah, you, it's awful because you are kind of responsible. They're just saying yeah. your phone. If you drop your phone, I guess so, yeah. break your phone, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's not yours. So you're. You you are paying for the privilege just to be in it and use it. Yeah. So it is the cup. Yeah. Oh, that's just. Yeah. It's 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 terrifying. It's I mean, I've hard heard, to get I've, heard heads yeah, around. I've heard stuff about certainly like on agricultural machinery that add blue stuff. So they'll they'll mm. monitor add blue. Yeah. And if you try and dilute it too much or you know it's sensitive all that sort of stuff, it will record that and. It will. And, I and, used to. Um, a client of mine made the sensors. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it will of, do that. It will quality measure. Yeah, you. and it will warn you, and then say if you yeah. want to carry on on your own head, be it sort of thing. If this whole thing blows up, you are out of your yeah, yeah. warranty at this point. Yeah. But it's kind of like I say, it's sensor based, and again, something else I'd like to talk about in another episode. But like you get in that way with certain yeah. uh, ECU triggering in yeah. cars already. So Porsche is very well known for. Monitor uh, to hard coding into your ECU and over rev, um, and then can pull that out at any point and go, well, you did this, so yeah. you're on your own. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's it's not as big a leap as you'd think, really. No. How would you trust the data? Yeah, you 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 plug a, a a port, you plug into a port on a car, download the data as a log. You yeah. downloaded the data. Yeah, you clear the data as a log. You cleared the data. Yes. Yeah. You, you, there's nothing you can get no. away with. And it's hard. And a lot of time, that's it. It's hard coded yeah. into the and it the will stuff be abused. Yeah. You know, autonomous technology will lead to yeah capitalist abuse. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as will um, EV technology. Yeah. Will lead to it. Well, is it? That's it. I mean, again, don't want to get into another point, but like you know, at the moment when everyone's is, is early adopters and EVs, and it's great. It cost me like thirty p to ch to fill my car up overnight. When everyone's got an EV, it won't cost you 30p to charge your EV overnight because you know you're paying. You're going to pay for it somehow, aren't you? It's this, yeah. just this finite window of early adopters. But once we've all got them, you'll be paying the equivalent of one pound thirty a liter of petrol in EV form, probably yeah. no doubt. I know someone, a guy called Dan. Cool guy. Cool guy. He works in the ag industry himself, yeah. and um, he had a. I think he may have had a Kia Soul or something, or a Zoe. Yeah. Loved it, um, but the cost just went up to the point where he ended up getting a um, Fiat 500. Yeah. Yeah, because like, that's it with a lot of the Zoes and the um, Leafs. You've got battery rental. That's it, you had a Leaf. It? Yeah. You had a Leaf. Yeah. So, yeah, great electric car. Got it early on, drove around in it, happy with it. But why... Why pay as much as you would for a petrol car when yeah. you're limited yeah with some of the sort of perceived drawbacks at the moment yeah, yeah where you're so. charging it and stuff like that yeah. may as well just go back to petrol yeah can't allow that to happen no um so yeah lots of positives a yeah. few scary negatives so good bads and ugly it's all covered we have to watch out really yeah when we have to watch out so as soon as we know of a car manufacturer yeah. that's moving to in um, that direction yeah if um, if this is the direction going, we will report we, yeah. on it for fear you. not 
listeners and viewers will be there. If we have to start a petition, yeah, from this Pitchfork, shed, pitchforks at the ready. Yeah, we're in the right place for pitchforks. Yeah, exactly. And all the farmers, That's they've all true. got them already, so no problem at all. We're all sorted. Yeah. There you go. Just one of our many services that we offer to you. Yeah. It for the dystopian future. Yeah, exactly. We are hurtling towards. Just note that down. Note that down. Thank right. you very much. Yeah, thanks for listening and watching. Um, we better go. I'm gonna yeah. brew. Take the mower back. Enjoy this lovely, lovely day. If yeah. you um, if you're on YouTube, check out our rant and ride. Yeah. Um, we took the uh, where um, Andrew went and bought a ride on mower. We got a bit of footage of him. Yeah. That was the first time. There's a a, a bit of a, a, a wheel spin start. In yeah. There, Mine's right? gonna be a wheel spin. Third right. gear start. All right. All right. Check it out. And also, those men in sheds on Instagram as well, just in case there's those some spotted. Sheds. We're on Drive Tribe now. Yeah. You can find us on that. Again, those men in sheds. Yeah. You can find us on We've got a few followers. We're posting all our articles on there. So you don't even have to, you don't have to leave the yeah. comfort yeah. of that walled garden. And if you can explain what Drive Tribe actually is to us, we'd really appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, we'd like that as that well. That might be a whole subject of its own. Thanks. Try. Bye.